In this lesson, we'll continue creating exploded views of our model. Okay, so now we're going to work on another type of exploded view. Uh, in the previous lesson, we simply sliced our model into a couple of segments and then exploded that view vertically. But there's also an easier and quicker way, believe it or not, to explode this model with all the building elements and also creating line paths that go back to its original position. So let's see if we can get that process going with our roof. Now, when creating a view like this, um, you could do it with a consistent color here, or you can do it in a hidden line view um, that'll give us more of a black and white, maybe a grayscale view here. I'm going to do it in this view. Um, in my opinion, it, it works a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to read as we're looking at our line paths and where maybe the corners of our roof meet back to their original position. And then once we get this change, I'll bounce back and forth between consistent and hidden line just so you can see the difference. Uh, in the effect that each one has. So let's start with our roof. So to explode this model, we can explode any of the building elements we have on the exterior. So I'm going to click on my roof. And when I do that, you'll notice three main parts of my roof are actually highlighted at once. And that's just because how I built this model. So essentially, there's one, two, three main roofs. But then there's also this area here that's kind of in between each main mass on our building. So there's probably four different roofs here. You can look at it that way. So I built this roof all together as one, and then we did it with this one. So we're going to blow this one up here. So I'm just simply going to select that roof, and the three roofs covering our three main masses are going to be highlighted. And now all I need to do is click on my Displace button. And that's that really small button located right here in our ribbon. And if you didn't know it was there, you might not see it. But this is where it is, and the graphic here actually shows an exploded view of different elements. And this is going to be a really easy to use tool and it's really going to come in handy. So now all we need to do is select that and what happens is we can now grab that roof we just selected and drag it any distance we want above. So I'm simply going to click and drag. Click and drag to a distance I like here. Now in order to make this a lot easier to read I'm going to want to have some line paths that go from each corner of my roof back to the corner where it meets my walls to this original position. So now all I need to do is click my path button and just select each corner and Revit automatically creates that line path back to its original position. So this definitely makes this a lot easier to read and we know that this is an exploded view and we're not confused with any extra geometry that may be floating above our model here. So once I select all my corners, we've got a really nice exploded view of our roof. Now, when we did the roof, we selected one element and created the exploded view. And we're not limited to that. We can actually select multiple elements and do the exact same thing and do it in a horizontal manner. So the next element of this building I want to explode will be these curtain wall systems here on this side. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom, highlight my curtain panel, and I'm going to tab until the entire thing is highlighted. I'm going to click. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the second one. I'm going to tab until its entire system is highlighted, but then I'm going to hold control to make sure I can select multiple. So now I have one, two panels set. Now we're going to take the same approach to get this third curtain wall system in, hand, in place. So again, I'm going to highlight it. Once I see the entire system is highlighted, I'm going to hit control, select, and now we've selected multiple elements. And now we can come blow this up with our displace elements button. And now it's just a matter of clicking and dragging out of the way, making it visible so we can now see inside that model. And then we'll really quickly add our line paths back to those original positions for our corners here. So we'll click and click. And you can see how easy this is. And this is a lot easier than what we did in the previous lesson. There's a lot less steps. But I think this one's really powerful and both have their, their benefits. So I'm going to finish out this view here, and I'm going to scroll out. Now, the good thing about creating an exploded view like this is we're not stuck with this particular perspective or this view. I can actually keep orbiting around to where I can get a better glimpse of my model or creating a better view. So we have some flexibility there as far as our view. We can also bounce around between maybe a hidden line view and also our consistent color view to see how this works graphically and if it's going to be powerful and if it reads easy to the people who are going to actually be looking at this presentation. So let's see what happens if we change our graphic display here to maybe consistent color. So this works just as well, but 
it's easy to get lost in some of the line work and, and the color going on in here. And for exploded view, I like to kind of go with the hidden line view. So this is another quick and easy way to create a really nice and powerful exploded view that gives people who are going to be viewing this presentation a glimpse inside of our model and how each space relates each to each other with materials and also vertically throughout the entire model. So in the next lesson, we're going to learn how to create a section perspective uh, that's also going to help us get a glimpse into this model and get a better understanding of the concept we have in mind for our design. So I'll see you there.